Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your motion capture for Source Filmmaker tutorial. This is part two, recording the action. In this tutorial, I will show you how we actually capture the motions that we want to bring into Source Filmmaker. To do that, you're going to start up Ipisoft Recorder. And once you've started it, you're going to make sure you select the cameras, hit the next button, select the background button so you can get a look at both cameras, then wait for anybody who's in the scene to get out. My son walked through the scene before I was ready to do this. Now that he's out of there, we just wait. And once you're sure the background is free of anything that isn't part of the set, uh, then you hit the uh, evaluate button. You wait a few moments and it will take a, take a look at it and decide, okay, this is the background. Then when you're ready to record, you hit the start button. It'll count down from five. And when it gets to zero, it will begin recording. Once it begins recording, do not step into the shot for several seconds. Wait at least three seconds. It needs three seconds of background with nothing in it at the beginning uh, before you step in. Once you do step in, you're going to take what's called a T-pose. And the T-pose is where you put your hands to your sides, straight out, perpendicular to your body and horizontal to the ground, your feet approximately shoulder width apart, and your spine vertical. So stand straight up, your hands up to your sides, and your feet about shoulder width apart. This is called a T-stance. We'll use this later to lock your model to the, uh, uh, lock a model to your animation. Once you've done that, then you can begin your, uh, rec moving, you can begin moving around to record the motions that you want to record. In my case, I took a little letter opener and pulled it out of my pocket and I'm going to swing it around a little bit like it's a sword. I like to have a little prop in my hand. You don't want to be swinging a real sword around unless you have a much larger space than I do, of course, in which case you probably don't need this tutorial. I also like to take several shots of the, uh, uh, of the sequence so that if I screw one up or if something happens like I step out of frame and you can see on a couple of these I do, uh, then I can just discard that one. I only need one good take for this and it only takes a few moments to do it. So. Uh, you will see that I do uh, the same sequence of actions, which is an up slash, a down slash, and a cross slash in rapid succession. Up, down, slash, and then step around in a small circle. One, two, three, and we're done. And once that's completed, then uh, that's all it really takes. Then you step out, go back to the uh, back to your recorder, hit the stop button and uh, prepare to go on to the next tutorial, which is where we are going to show you how to post process and uh, get the animation moved into Motion Builder for the next phase of the process. So that's uh, recording the action. I am Jimmer Linz, and I thank you for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial, which is processing the recording and generating animations with it. Thanks for watching, uh, and I hope you are enjoying using Source Filmmaker.